Hello everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video here. I am David over at Game Town out in Waukesha, Wisconsin. And uh, today we're going to be busting into one of the uh, elite trainer boxes from the new set, Sword and Shield Astral Radiance. Uh, this time around we got a black and red color scheme on the box featuring Dark Rai. Uh, and this set is also going to be the first appearance of a lot of the uh, new Hisuian Pokemon featured in Legends Arceus. So uh, we're going to go ahead and break right on into this and see if we can't find something fun in here. So this time around, let's take a look at that box art. We've got a nice uh, dark eye with the red swirl pattern going on behind. Very nice looking color scheme. Uh, we've got our player's guide. Looks like they changed their materials slightly for the card stock to save a little paper, which is never a bad play. You got the card list in the back here, so you can keep track of all the fancy new stuff coming out of this set, but uh, we're going to get right into the actual goodies portion. So let's see what we got in here. So we've got rule book with the updated rules for the game. The uh, dark rye card sleeves. Nice little vortex pattern on those too. It's got a nice shine to it. Right, we've got dividers with both the uh, black and red and the inverted pattern. So that's pretty neat to see them trying that out a little bit too. Uh, pack of basic energies as well there. Poison and burn markers. Pretty standard these days for those. Uh, a brand new set of dice with the set symbol Featured on there. Let's see if we can get that to zoom or uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. It's a little easier to see the dice that way. Very nice. All right. And uh, the most important part booster packs. So we'll go ahead and put our accessories away. And we'll get into uh, taking a look at the fun new stuff for the set. So let's uh, let's start working on that. First pack art, we've got the new uh, Decidueye. First one up, we've got an Eevee with a new ability. Oh, let's see here. Resonant Evolution. Once during your turn, when you play a Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your other Eevee, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. So this is a uh, new take on the energy evolution mechanic just follows for uh, when you evolve a different Eevee instead. So this is probably going to be a card that we see a lot of play in standard. So we got that Eevee, we got Heracross, Mantine, Hisuian Quillfish with the new Dark type, which I believe is poison in the actual game. Hisuian Basculin, 
got the uh, psychic energy switch cart. Let's get it. Oopsie. Hisuian Overquill. So, new evolution for that quillfish. Reverse Hollow Ursa Ring. And a Thievil with a new ability preventing effects of supporters. All right. So there's that one. Moving right along. New uh, Typhlosion form on this one. All right, so we've got Scyther, Hisuian Basculin, Hisuian Voltorb, Glam Meow, Swine Up, Steel Energy, another Switch Cart, Uxie, Suing Over Quill. Same three uncommons this time around. We might have hit a print run like that there. Here we go. We've got the new Radiant Heatran. Let's get a little. Uh, a little more light on this one. So you can see it's got a new uh, crosshatch foil pattern on there. In addition to the texturing on the actual Pokemon portion of the foil itself. Similar to the Shinings that we've seen before. Uh, for Radiant Heatran, it's got the rule. You can't have more than one Radiant Pokemon in your deck. So these are... A uh, little harder to build around, limit one for playing with, but uh, let's see, it's a basic 160 HP, Raging Blast for 3 energy, does 70 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. So that can, uh, that can add up pretty quickly if you have any means of getting a few extra damage counters on there or just normally through the course of a battle so that's a pretty nice nice open and we've also got the garchomp v that is a phenomenal pack very cool to see some exciting new cards out of these garchomp v with the three energy dragon claw or sonic strike which does 220 to any one of your opponent's Pokemon if you discard the three energy. So uh, being able to choose a benched Pokemon as a target is pretty impressive for that card. That was definitely a good hit. And as always, y'all know when, you, when we win, you win. So we're going to go ahead and uh, show off uh, that code so that one of you following along with the video at home can uh, get a free pack on the online game. So I'm sure somebody will take advantage of that one. Moving up next, we've got the new art for Samurott's Hisuian form. I definitely enjoyed seeing the new starter forms in the Legends Arceus. This one, honestly, uh, I would say my favorite would have to be the new Typhlosion, just because I've always been a fan of the uh, the Johto region gen generation two. So, if uh, if anybody's got a got a favorite from among those three, let us know in the comments below or uh, tell us about what your favorites from the new game are. Love to hear more about what y'all are looking out for in these games. So uh, moving right along here, we've got new Hisuian form Sneasel, Miss Drevis, pretty fun art there. We'll go ahead and just leave the leave the flash on since we got our focus issues fixed now. Uh, Barboach. Scyther and Bergmite, our water energy. We've got Silene, 
one of the captains for two coins put a number of cards up the number of heads from your discard pile on top of your deck in any order so that's going to help uh restock some cards that you might not be able to get back otherwise we got pure ugly azelf reverse hollow rowlet and uh weird deer the new evolution for stantler uh it's got an ability hurried gate once during your turn you may draw a card and extra sensory 40 damage for two energy uh 80 more damage if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent so those extra card draws certainly going to come in handy for uh getting that to, getting that number to match all right now we've got the uh new origin form palkia here Ponyard, another Resonant Eevee, that's a good one to keep track of, Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Darkness Energy, We've got Silene, Pure Ugly, and Azelf again with the doubled up uh, uncommon runs there, so it's possible that's the end of the sheet, that's just how we see those kind of coming together here. Togetic Reverse Hollow. Very nice. And a Reggie Ice for our rare this time. All right. All right. And the next one up here. Our last unique pack art, the uh, Origin Form Dialga. So go ahead and So we've got Nicket, Togepi, Chatot, Magnemite, Teddy Ursa, Grass Energy. All right, we've got Uncommons now. Curlia, Wait and See Turbo. Let's see, you can only use this card if you go second and only during your first turn. Search your deck for a basic energy card and attach to one of your Pokemon, then your turn ends. So, conditional energy acceleration if you're going second. Not sure if this is going to be strong enough to uh, make, a, make a splash in standard, but most of these cards usually folks will try out at least once or twice. We've got new art for Shield on, and I love these uh, these Yuka Marie arts. The this is where you see the clay figures that she'll make and put into uh, real life nature or terrain situations. It's always pretty fun to see. Um, all right, and then we've got our first trainer gallery card here, uh, the Hoot Hoot with a sage, which appears to. Uh, be kind of a callback to Sprout Tower from the Gen 2 games. So that's a pretty nice one. And then we've got a, an alternate art Beedrill V with the full swarm behind. That is a very nice looking card right there. Once again, we get our, uh, our fancy cards to show up in pairs. So very cool to see that one. Those alternate arts are always looking great in these recent sets. So uh, as again, once again, we'll pass those uh, those lucky winnings along. Somebody else can claim another code card for the online game here. All right, a couple more packs left yet. All right, 
Okay, we'll get through these commons. We've got Magnemite, Ralts, Hisui and Sneasel, Misdreavus, Barboach, Energy, of course. Uh, let's see, another Curlia. So let's see if it's the same ones. Curlia, Wait and See, Turbo, and Shield on. Yeah, this is a really uh, bizarre set of uncommons we're getting out of this trainer box, but I guess we'll see how it goes for the rest of it. We've got a Reverse Hollow Ralts here, so nice to nice one on that. And then a Shaman in the land form this time. Uh, this is going to be another one of those conditional uh, going second Pokemon. So Encouraging Gift, uh, you can use it only during your first turn. If you go second, you search your deck for up to three cards and put them into your hand and shuffle. So uh, this is going to be where we probably start to see cards like Level Ball, making a splash, trying to go find your one copy of Shaman if you happen to be going second. This is a, that, that searching for three specific cards can be a pretty powerful effect if used properly. So I'm sure we'll start to see that one uh, popping up from time to time. Alrighty. On to the next one. So this one, we've got a, uh, a V-Star marker instead of our energy card there. All right, let's see. We've got Yanma, Drifloon, Pseudowoodo, Combi, and Ralts. Moving on to the uncommons, we've got... Uh, the regular art for Togetic, no uh, reverse this time on that. Ursa Ring and Roxanne. This is going to be one of the cards we definitely see in standard. You can only use this card if your opponent has three or fewer prizes remaining, so they're usually going to have to be a little ahead in the game. And it causes each player to shuffle their hand into their deck. Then you draw six cards and your opponent draws two cards. So this is... Uh, this is one of those resource equalizers, very good for turning around a close game. So this is a this is going to be an all-star card out of this set for sure. Into uh, our reverses, we've got the reverse hollow pill swine and Hisuian Avalug sporting a brand new mountain look with the uh, the what would appear what looks like a steel guard against its face, but. This is a very cool uh, look at that Pokemon for sure. Awesome. All right, and then one final pack to go here. Let's uh, let's see if our uncommons line up for the last one. So we're looking for Togetic, Ursa Ring, and Roxanne, just to see if this pattern really did show up the way that it did the rest of the box. Uh, Obviously nothing wrong with a couple of duplicates from time to time, uh, but just having them show up in sequence like that is kind of surprising, so we shall see if that happens again here. Alright, we've got Pseudowoodo, Combi, Drifloon, Psyduck, and Togepi. Fighting Energy, and yep, here it goes, Togetic. Ursa Ring and Roxanne. That's right. So, out of our eight packs, we had four pairs that had the same three uncommons in them back to back each time. We've got brand new art on Unidentified Fossil, this time in Reverse Hollow. And final card for the box, we've got the Hisuian Lilligant V. This is a very nice card here. That first attack, Dance Gracefully, costs zero energy and allows you to draw until you have six cards in your hand, plus a, a, a completely fair 130 for three energy. And I'm sure there's a V Max or a V Star for this one somewhere in the set. 
So this is going to be a, a staple for grass decks going around. Lots of ability to bring card advantage back to the game. Uh, very cool to see some of the new stuff we've found. Uh, looks like a couple of our hits were grass types, so maybe that's going to lead toward uh, building a grass type deck at some point for our new League Knights. Uh, for those of you who are local to us, we are going to be starting up our League Nights on Saturday nights at 6 p.m. Uh, until we start getting a more significant player base back, we'll still we'll primarily be focusing on the learn to plays, the de the the demo games, and making sure folks just have a fun, safe space to come and play and trade with us. Um, but once we start to get that crowd back up and running, we plan to start hosting official tournaments for our league nights, for uh, the standard format, which is currently all a sword and shield, as well as a few other fun formats like the gym leader challenge, or uh, we've also had folks uh, asking around about some uh, some vintage like Wizards of the Coast era games. So. We've got a little bit of everything going on out here. It's always good to uh, bust a few packs open, get these uh, get these cards, you know, just a, a nice fresh look at them and try the new sets out. So thanks for sticking around. Uh, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments below what you enjoyed, what you want to see new from us. Uh, and as always, please take care. Thanks again.